All right, guys, last drive in the Acura NSX this week. How can we sum this thing up? Well, great everyday supercar. I mean, that, that pretty much says it. May not be the most hardcore, visceral experience out there, but if you want a supercar that can kind of do it all, this is it. It held up incredibly well on track yesterday. Not a hiccup, not an issue. Took it all in stride with the air conditioning on the whole time because they're separate systems. Incredibly comfortable to drive the 200 miles there and back. Besides the lack of cargo space, this thing is, uh, you could daily this. No problem, easily. I love the styling Acura did on this. The final design, the final look, especially with these wheels is just gorgeous. I didn't know that this was a little front flying buttress in there. Kind of cool. Just a great mid-engine supercar. And the hybrid system, the technology in this is so seamless and works so incredibly well. I'm really quite impressed because Acura doesn't have anything else like this. And they did all the engineering on this system just for this car. spooky little reverse sound when you're in electric mode. I think this is one of my favorite steering wheels to hold in the automotive industry. You wrap it around your hands, it's not too squishy, it's not too firm, it's just right in the, um, I don't know if you guys have ever held like a high-end you know, camera with like a battery pack or a battery grip. The sides of the wheel kind of feel like my old Nikon D3S did. It's just, oh, it's just, it's perfect. It's great. It's a shame that there's a little bit of a rattle behind the steering wheel from the carbon fiber, but that's something that's pretty easily fixed usually. Otherwise in here, this car is so livable, so nice. All the materials and everything are great. You've got Apple CarPlay, you've got a great sound system, a few Acura bits here and there from other models, but they're nice quality. Like I said in my previous video, you can drive this thing you know, in quiet mode and kind of forget that you're in an NSX. It's so comfortable, the ride quality is great. These seats are incredibly nice and supportive. And then you throw it into uh, Sport Plus. Those turbos spool up and you're in a whole nother world. And you can kind of drive this thing quick, stealthily too, which I think is pretty cool. There is some noise piped in, there has to be, because I'm hearing noise coming from around me instead of just behind me. And outside the vehicle, this NSX is pretty quiet. But inside it screams. vectoring in here is incredible. The amount of mechanical grip that this has, you couple that with the systems. fast cars that's enjoyable to drive all the time and that's for two reasons when you're hammering it it's great it's quick it may not be the most fizzy exciting thing uh, like a GT3 but it has this other side where you're just cruising and you can kind of gamify the hybrid system you can kind of make it 
you know, a fuel economy challenge in a supercar, getting, I had one point this week where I was doing some city driving around the neighborhood. I got 46 miles to the gallon, according to the readout, over eight to 10 miles. Pretty cool, pretty impressive. And then you just turn your dynamic mode selector over, put it into manual mode, and you've got a supercar. direct steering, very fast rack. This steering wheel is, it's a highlight for me. The way it feels, the way it reacts, its responsiveness, the ergonomics of it. I mean, if you want a supercar that has as few compromises as possible, this is a pretty good option. You can take this to the track, ring it out all day long without any issues. With how we drove this, McLarens would have broken three times over, and this NSX was flawless. It was fine. No heat, no heat issues. It was 87 degrees, 88 degrees Fahrenheit. Pretty hot day on track for any car. It looks great. It shows amazingly well. It's beautiful to look at. People kind of wonder what it is. There's, there's an air of mystique and, and mystery to to, to most people on what this car is. It has styling elements that are very classic, but just it's really well proportioned for a mid-engine car too. And there's no, there are no negative connotations to the NSX. This isn't, you know, this isn't a Ferrari or Lamborghini where people are going to be angry at you just for driving around. That is a real thing in a supercar. And it definitely dulls the experience, but uh, in this NSX, it's just cool. You get some good reactions, some good looks. And honestly, you don't see these on the road. At this point, Lamborghinis, Ferraris, Porsches are commonplace. And if you want something a little bit different, this NSX is uh, it's the way to go. So definitely not the best at everything, but uh, it strikes a really nice balance using all the technology and the modern kind of paving the future for supercars and hypercars going forward. And if you think about this as a bargain Porsche 918 that's way more drivable and way more livable, it's pretty cool. I've thoroughly enjoyed this this week. We want to thank Acura for letting us uh, have this car and also take it out to the track. Hopefully we'll have some more fun stuff like this for you in the future. Until then, thanks for watching, guys. We will see you in the next video. Take care.